Hey guys, so it is Sunday for us. We are gonna go get some donuts at the donut shop here um, near Fremont. So let's go. Vertigo, auto puts her like whoa. Thing I go, cause you don't I see, I see. And you're the better now, girl. Yeah, got your cold blood. Yeah, no, I is it that I swear. I swear. Check out Mondo Zero, Poxo, can't get you there. Come to, I was in trouble. Now I'm back on no more, do it, get chumped in your head. Bashing, got me to the top, party, tell the body, so girl, hundred, I've been pro from good, my hands, time to stop. Simple, good, jagger, kind of style. Yeah, I'm in so, do my own, in Chaco, nigga, guy. I'm a bad, your body, guy. If you want me back, I'll tell you I'm sorry. If you want me back, I'll tell you stop trying Yeah, yeah, you got me Let it go All the boots are like, whoa I think I'm gone Cause you know what I see I see I got a bit to know, girl Yeah, girl, you're cold-blooded Yeah, girl, you're cold-blooded Yeah, 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 yeah Uh-uh Girl, you're cold-blooded Girl, you're cold Girl, you're cold-blooded I'm like Frozen, more I'm all distressed and gotta let it go. So, so getting dating up for that guy at the bar. So, uh, and they got good in there. Don't know about me and you, yeah, we fell into the cracks. Yeah, got good on and no cap. Way down a boy, what's happening? Get one dog, I still got up. She in me, game wife, flag and wave it fast. Yeah, I'm leaving back, but my don't know my bummer. Not to name my I don't know. Even love a relationship. Be kekariki, my nigga. I'll tell you I'm sorry I'll If you want me sorry. back I'll tell you stop trying Yeah, yeah, you got me Let it go All oh, the boots are like, whoa Think I'm cool All she know show you the Nutella donut that I got. Ooh. Oh, so good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> then I got a creme brulee. Alright guys, so I just put a hair mask on. I'm pretty much just going to leave it on for a couple of hours. Um, and yeah, we're just going to chill, watch something, and see what happens. Alright you guys, so we are heading to TJ Maxx again. We're going to get Ozzy a shampoo, um, and then we're also going to get him a toy for just being a good boy. And we haven't gotten him a toy in a minute, so... Uh, but the weather is back being hot again. It is currently 86 degrees So don't know if it was just like a one-off thing, but it is quite warm today. But yeah guys, let's go mm -hmm. I just love this color <laughs> This one for the perfect spider. It's oh, heavy. Is that a spider? Yeah, $70. Look, pick it up. It's heavy, so we're just at TJ Maxx. Ooh, I'm a sucker for good pants, let me tell you. Alright you guys, so we just came back. We're heading home. We got Ozzy his shampoos and we got his wipes as well. So, but there was a creepy guy. There was a creepy guy and Richard was in the on the men's section, well in the men's section. And I went to see like all the beauty stuff and he was just there following every aisle. And then as I was telling Richard about it, when we were at the um, cash registers, 
he like popped up and I was like that's the guy uh, it was creepy but yeah we're heading home now it's literally about like no more than 10 minutes away from home so we'll get um, back home pretty quick I'm gonna just get in the shade. Whew. Sorry guys. So I guess there was like an accident that happened and the whole Calvary had to come and have a look. Cause Main Street is like such a small place already. So when someone has an accident, it's not good. <laughs> Three rounds. I'm gonna go for four cookies and four rounds. I'm gonna go for five goats. Five speeding. Five rounds. <laughs> Whoo! We're going with dinosaur, you guys. Right? No. Dragon. Dragon. Wait. 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 Sit. Sit. <laughs> sit. 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 Okay, sit. sit. Sit, boy. Wait. Wait. Sit. Sit. Show him. Nice to meet you. No. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ah! 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He went right away. And see you later. Ooh, I'm feeling for sausages, though. All right, guys. So I wanted to show you what we got at TJ Maxx. Ozzy has been stinky for the last month. Um, so we bought him the Burt's Bee shampoo for dogs. It's got oatmeal and stuff and it's good for like itchy, itchy spots, which he does have. And then I got this oatmeal honey 200, 200 anti-itch pet wipes. They look like that. And this one was $7.99 and the shampoo was $9.99, so $10. And then I got more of this eye patches for the morning. This was $3.99. And then I got this firming solution um, by Dr. Jot masks. So yeah. Um, my little sister April introduced me to these masks. And to be honest with you, you guys, I really, really like it. And I am going to give Richard a facial today. So, he's happy. And then I got this one here. And this got me. I don't know. Looks freaky, but unique. This is weird. It has like... It has these things. It's like powder. And then, this is the cryo rubber. I don't get it. It's got this packet right here. And then it has this mask right here. So I don't know how to use it, so I'm gonna have to probably read up on it. Uh, but yeah, you guys, I do like the do uh, Dr. Jot one. This is the firming solution. It's a gel mask that firms saggy skin with biopeptide and power firming complex. So, and this full. You guys, the new neighbor is annoying me. He slams the door every morning every night and it's such a small apartment like apartments that you can pretty much hear that like and it sounds so loud that i was like buddy please don't please let's not go there i always forget is it the middle part i think it is the middle part You guys, so I um, asked for the 12 off because Richard's birthday's coming up and 
we might go to California again. Uh, but this time, it's a really cool thing. I don't want to give too much out, but it has a lot to do with Back to the Future movie. So, keep a lookout. Hopefully, my date does get approved. I did request it yesterday, so hopefully, I get approved. But even if I didn't, uh, we're going to celebrate Richard's birthday here. Uh, if obviously it does get approved, then we are going to celebrate over there. And I will surprise him with something because I have um, something in mind that I want to get him. So it's very hard to shop for Richard because he is very specific as to what he likes. So he's not an easy person. Me, I'm easy. Makeup and face stuff. And I'm good. That I gotta go. Because <laughs> I was just playing and I'm gonna let him play. So I'll see you guys a little bit. Hey you guys. So I'm actually wearing super comfy clothes. I just got back from work. So I decided to put my comfy clothes. Do we get ourselves a googies? Do we have ourselves a googies? Ah, my boy. <laughs> Straight to water. So Richard is actually cooking some dinner. I'll show you what we're gonna be eating. Uh, it's basically like a like a chicken Caesar salad wrap. Oh, it's so good when he makes it. Mm. I'm so excited and I'm so hungry. I did not eat um, like lunch properly and I only ate a little bit on breakfast. So I'm actually really hungry. <laughs> Uh, and it's my dad's birthday, so he was actually born on the Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertes. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what the Day of the Dead is. But yeah, it's, it's, it's already the second in Australia, so I ended up sending him a happy birthday emoji. So, um, but yeah, you guys, it is currently... What time is it? Uh, no, in the car. All right, you guys, I've got my phone in the car. I will be right back and get, I'm gonna go get it. Hey guys, so Richard has been cooking and ooh, we did another mince, potato and carrot. <laughs> but uh, he forgot to do the rice, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some, so let's do it. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna put the rice and do the dishes. Uh, just because obviously Richard did cook so I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes so he doesn't have to do it but yes let's put some rice and I have a fucking pimple behind my head and it hurts so bad oh, I just want to pop it got Richard's two monitors literally <laughs> staring at me uh, but I wanted to show you so a few things I got some stuff in the mail um, I'm doing another balloon gig um, let me just get this stuff out so I got a gig for my balloon business and I'm super excited because this one is a pugs theme balloon garland <laughs> So um, my client's daughter wanted uh, something to do with a pug, like the dog pug, um, and she loves purple and teal color. So I got purple balloons, I got different sizes like that, and then I got teal balloons as well. So. I'm going to really make this garland very cute and oh, I'm so excited. I have to do a mock-up today, but yes, um, so this is the till and then I'm going to add two bones 
to the um, to the garland, and I got my bone balloons. Yeah, look how cute they are. They're quite big. Like I did not think that they were this big, but they're pretty decent size. So I'm gonna have the balloon, or oh, actually the stand, then the garland, then I'm gonna put the bones, then I'm gonna put the cute pugs, and yeah, it's gonna be super cute. I might add in like the age that she's turning, so that's gonna be really, really cool. But yeah, you guys, I'm super excited that she asked me to do um, her daughter's birthday. Uh, I did her other daughter's birthday the last time and it was the Japanese um, sushi inspired photo booth. So I'm super excited. I have to do a mock-up today because it's next week. It's on the 10th. So I have to make sure that everything is ready for it. And then I, I like to do the mock-ups because it kind of shows me like what I'm going to be doing. Um, and then I can just like play around with the mock-ups and stuff. So... So yeah, there it is. I like to pack them. I like to pack um, everything, but I actually need to get these out. So let me get some scissors. And boom, there you have it. They were sealed packed. Um, it's cool because it comes with a string as well. So, perfect. I have the balloons. Um. You guys, I'm just super excited that I get to get another gig. Honestly, I am. I love doing balloons. So, any chance that I get, any gig that I get, I'm just super excited because I truly, truly love doing balloons for some reason. It's like... I don't know, very soothing for me when I sit down and I start to play around with them and stuff. So I really enjoy doing them and I really, really hope one day, hopefully I'm putting it out there, manifesting, <laughs> um, that this is something that I end up doing um, for actual, like a job, like a business, you know. So fingers crossed that everything goes well, you guys. I have huge, huge plans for next year. I'm not going to say anything because, I don't know. I just don't want to say anything just yet, just in case. But honestly, you guys, I'm working on something really, really big. Hopefully it pays off next year. And I'm just super excited. So you guys are definitely going to be along the way. I'm going to film it, vlog it, whatever I have to do. But Honestly, I feel like me vlogging my day-to-day -day stuff is kind of like a diary entry to me. So I love it. I go back to some of my old videos and I'm like, oh my god, like I can't believe that I did this or I did that. And, you know, it's really, really cool. So I hope you guys enjoy the vlogs. I really try to put as many as I can. Unfortunately, I do have a full-time job. So I try to like balance the both, but... You know my job is a little bit demanding so i do have to put attention to that because that's what pays the bills but at the end you know i really hope that good things come next year you know i have been feeling a little bit down i'm not gonna lie life general um gets to me and you know i'm just i'm just in a position where <laughs> I don't know, I feel just very down and you know, some days are good, some days are not good and I'm just going with this roller coaster for now. But I know I'm gonna be okay. I've been here before and I, you know, I overcome it once so I know I can do it again. But um, yeah, it is a little bit tiring to, to kind of get yourself back up there, you know, mentally. So I don't know where I was going with that, <laughs> so. Sorry, but um, yeah, you guys, I just really hope that next year, you know, I reach to the goal that I really, really want and everything goes well. But with everything in my life, the way I grew up and everything doesn't come so easy for me. And yeah, I just have to keep going, keep paddling through and whatnot. But yeah we'll see what happens you guys but i am so excited you guys are gonna come with me this time when i end up doing this balloon setup for my client 
this is the kind of mock-up that i'm thinking of doing i'm gonna put it up here so you guys can see it but this is the kind of like idea that i want to go with so fingers crossed that it goes well but i think i think the rice is calling me so i will see you after dinner you guys mm -hmm.